So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we will cover the most requested lab that is get started with sensitive data protection challenge lab so first of all click on start lab and open the console incognito window now here in my case it is getting signed in automatically sometimes you may be asked to enter the username and password check the lab for it now if you are new to this channel like the video and subscribe the channel and just follow the way i am doing to get the full score on this lab and if you face any issue do let me know in the comments this will be in-depth tutorial where you won't face any issue. So now here we will be performing the first task. So for that click on I agree and continue. And then we will be activating the cloud shell. So click on this. Basically this button activates the cloud shell where we will be performing the remaining steps. So wait for it. Now click on continue. Now basically you have to authorize yourself so click on authorize and wait for the authorization to complete. So it will take some time meanwhile if you are new to this channel like the video and subscribe the channel and do check the playlist for the remaining laps. Now in the description box of this video I have shared this repo. So enter the repo on the cloud shell I mean the command. Now we have to export the bucket name. So where will you find the bucket name click on the task number one and as you can see here is the output bucket name. So copy the bucket name carefully make sure there is no extra space of full stop now hit enter now wait for these commands to execute so basically a lot of you guys were facing issue on this lab and this is the most requested lab so here is the updated and latest solution here you will get the full score without any issue now let me show you how you will complete the lab now this part has been done now on the search box we will obtain open the sensitive data protection so wait for some time now here on the search box just type sensitive data and you have to select the first one make sure to select the sensitive data protection here we will be creating the data identifies templates so first of all wait for the page to load now here you have to just click on this unwanted pop-up to close it now this part here we have to wait a moment click on discovery or infraction wait a moment click on configuration and from here we select the de-identify we will create two templates one is structured and one is unstructured so wait for some time so finally it's ready now we will click on create template and scroll down a bit now here you have to copy the template name just copy it carefully and from here just select the record type make sure to select the record type for the structured data type otherwise you will face issue basically structured data template you don't have to add the display name just add the template id now from multi-region you have to select it us as it's mentioned on the lab instruction and we have to follow each and every steps so if you are unable to see the us region i mean us multi-region you have to just scroll up and just select now click on continue now from here you have to just add the transformation rule to this to again copy carefully and paste over here now this has been done it will be primitive field transformation type and from here you have to just select mark with character so here if you miss anything you will get a not score just click on the none and mask all characters so now here we have to add a second transformation rule just type it message on the rule field now just click on match info type now from here add transformation and replace the info type name make sure to select the replace info type name we are following the lab instruction because if you miss any update i mean the task you won't get full score so just follow the way i am doing and here once you have done make sure to cross verify everything is correct then click on create it will take some time then after that we will create a unstructured data template so now it's done now first of all click on got it now go to the back and again click a template now we'll be creating unstructured data template so copy the name carefully it will be also in the multi region us so copy the name and paste on the template id now don't check the type it will be same info type only not record like previously now change the region 
now click on continue and for transformation it will be replaced transformation rule is replace you just click on replace make sure to click on replace not redact so finally this has been done now we have to play it so it will take some time and once it's done we'll get the score instantly you don't have to wait if you face any error i mean you are unable to complete this task you have to just delete the i mean the templates and recreate it let me show you how we'll delete it so once you are done you have to click on this pack icon and from here just click on this three dots and click on delete the info type both the info type or if the info type mentioned like you have to facing issue on structure or unstructured you have to delete that way so now we will be creating a job so for that you have to click on inspection on the same page and create a job trigger now for job id it's clearly mentioned on the lab instruction you can check it out so here is the job name copy the name carefully make sure there is no extra space or full stop otherwise you may get error now the region is already updated if it's not you update as per lab instruction now from here select cloud storage you have to select cloud storage and the input location will be this only so just first of all update scan bucket change this to optional include and exclude now paste the bucket name and the sampling rate will be 100 percent it's currently 50 updated to 50 to 100 now toggle on the mark t identifier sampling method also updated no sampling now we have to go to the actions and toggle on the mark d identify copy so where will you find it scroll down a bit and just click on continue you have to click on continue first of all make sure there is no any extra mistake or full stop all things are correctly entered now we will go to this step so let's click on continue again you have to don't check anything just click on continue from here only you have to click on mark t identify click here now here wait for a second app data will be populate itself so you have to just select this populated data again select it now you don't have to add anything in this field so you can ignore it so just ignore it and we will add the location of the cloud storage output location so for output location copy the file name here and paste over here so this has also been done now click on continue and for schedule update it to create a trigger to run on periodic schedule and update it to weekly now all things are correct you can directly click on create or just click on continue and then again scroll down till the end and click on create now click on create start most important part is click on run now because if you miss this you would get full score and now go to trigger jobs and now you need to wait for one to two minutes and once it's done once it shows run we'll be done with the lab and move forward to the lab instruction and it'll check my progress and see whether we get full score or not so wait for some time So finally it's showing done now we'll move forward to the lab instruction and it check my progress for the task and and if you're new to this channel like the video and subscribe to the channel and do check the playlist for the remaining labs if you face any issue as you can see we got full score we are done with the lab guys have a great day ahead do like the video